key terms currency, quote, spread. One currency is traded in relation to another in the forex market. It means one unit of some currency may be exchanged for a particular number of units of another currency. There are plenty of currency types on forex. Each currency is given a special code consisting of three Latin letters. Usually the first two letters stand for the country of a currency and the third one is the first letter of a currency's name. For instance, in the USD code, the US letters are for the United States and D is for dollar. To estimate the values of, for example, the greenback and euro, we need to measure the US dollar's price in euro and vice versa. So we need to know the exchange rate of one currency to another one. This currency rate is denoted as the X to Y quote. X is a base currency and Y is a quote currency. When we say that X to Y is Z, it means one unit of the X base currency may be bought or sold for Z units of the Y quote currency. It is crucial to understand changes in quotes on Forex. The position of a currency in a pair is meaningful. For example, a rise in the dollar-yen direct quote means that the base currency, greenback, is rising and the quote currency, Japanese yen, is falling. At the same time, an increase in the yen-dollar indirect pair stands for the climbing yen and sliding dollar. It is vital to distinguish between different types of forex quotes once you've started trading on a certain currency pair. Making deals in the forex market, traders should know both a currency pair and its price. Any currency pair has ask and bid prices. Ask is a higher price at which a trader buys the first currency in a quote, while the bid price is a lower and used to sell the first currency in a pair. The difference between these two prices is called spread. Spread is a payment for trading on forex and a so-called commission of brokerage companies. Ask and bid prices as well as spread are the key notions for working in the forex market. A trader should clearly understand these terms. On Forex you should take decisions quickly and of course you shouldn't have any problems with basic concepts.